Aloha, welcome to World War II Valor in the Pacific National Monument for our segment, which we call Moments of Infamy. Today we are at AG-16 USS Utah Memorial. This location is of Long Carrier Row, and she it was a former battleship at the time of the attack. She was commissioned in 1911 as battleship number 31, eventually in 1932 becoming a radio-controlled target ship. This, the Utah, has been equipped as a radio-controlled enemy. By 1940, she had gone into modernization several times and finally finished with her final modernization in May 1941. She would be returned to the Pacific Fleet in September 1941 and join it in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. On December 7, 1941, first bomb would hit Pearl Harbor at 755. Shortly after that, coming in from the north, would have been three torpedo planes coming in treetop level somewhere between 20 to 33 feet off the water. Three torpedoes would be dropped in this general vicinity, of which two would hit the port side of the USS Utah. A abandoned ship is called. Men would start clamoring from the ship and start working their way towards Ford Island. One man who would not leave his position was Chief Waterman Peter Tomish. He would stay at his position trying to keep the water pumps going, buying Utah precious minutes to allow men to escape the ship. Unfortunately, when the ship's mooring lines snapped at 812, he would be lost with the ship. He would be awarded the Medal of Honor posthumously for his actions. The men who were able to escape and began to swim towards Fort Island soon came under machine gun fire from enemy Japanese planes above. By the end of the day, 58 men lost their lives with the USS Utah. Very similar to the USS Arizona, if you were aboard or a part of the crew of the USS Utah, you have the right to be cremated and buried along with your shipmates. 52 men are interred from December 7, 1941, and now 14 men have chosen to join them.